What is going on everybody? My name's Ryan from Ask Critic Tells and today we're going to be looking at some more of the number one stories from r slash entitled parents. Before we do that though, as always, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date on all the latest videos. My neighbor's dog is killing my chickens. So when we moved to a new state and area, we used to live in the city, now we live in the country, we had different neighbors that were the kind that abused their dogs to the point where they were starving. The dogs were kind of nice, but did one time accidentally kill our baby chickens. My grandma had started to become warier of the dogs in our neighborhood. They later moved out, mostly because it wasn't their house, it was their brothers and only one person was supposed to be there. About a month later, a new neighbor moved in. We tried to be nice because my sister knew their daughter, so we gave them eggs since we get like 20 a day. Well, skip to a few months later and my sister and their daughter get in trouble because they're dumb teenagers. Well, their dogs start coming over and my grandma complains to my neighbor. Now where we live, we have a barbed wire fence separating our properties and anyone passing is trespassing and you can shoot them. My grandma has a BB gun, so it hurts but won't kill them. My neighbor, let's call her CL for crazy lady, she tells my grandma that it doesn't matter if her dogs are on our property, if they're doing nothing. She's not wrong and my grandma isn't one who holds a grudge so she lets it go. The next week her dogs come on our property again and gets one of our chickens and kills it. I'm mad at this point because we give her eggs at least she could do is keep her dogs on her side. We tell her about it and she ignores it. Now my grandma's mad so she said if we ever see her dogs on our property we're allowed to shoot it. Fast forward a few months and we have two dogs, a big one and a small one. The big one's outside on a chain and the little one is in the house. The big one usually barks if she sees the dogs. This time the little one barks and we see the dogs. Since I'm kinda fast, I grab the BB gun and look for the dogs. It already has one of our chickens in its mouth and it looks at me. I aim and take a shot right at its head and it hits. And then it drops the chicken and runs back, with blood on it. Now it's a white chicken so it's easy to see if there was any. There wasn't any blood on it, and if you can scare a chicken really bad, it can die, so we calm it down and pull it in a nest. While that was happening, the dogs were still barely on our property, and my grandma was shooting towards it. The crazy lady comes out, and this conversation ensues. You were shooting my dogs on my side. No, they were still on my side, and your dog almost killed my chickens. I'm gonna call the police on you. No, she isn't. She's the person that has a weed farm when it isn't legal. Go ahead. We have forest cameras on our property that detect motions and take pictures so we have enough proof. They never called the police and their dog still tries to come on our property. The CL is now keeping them indoors and is barely letting them out. The CL is still making one of her dogs have babies every time she gets the chance to. What should I do? Are we on the right side? Edit. A lot of you guys are saying to call animal control. That's good advice, but out here if the dogs go back to their property then animal control can't get them because that's trespassing. And also, we don't have animal control in my town, because it's super small. By the way, the dog had another litter of puppies. I forgot to say, they killed a chicken two days ago. If chickens become traumatized, they shut down, then all their organs do. A chicken was in a brush pile between their property fence and my goat panels. I got the chicken, she didn't have any bleeding, but as, as I said, they die if they have trauma. Also, sorry about that little stroke I just had. Entitled Aunt tried to barge into my room while I was changing my clothes and got her head banged against the door. My crazy Entitled Aunt, whom you all know so well, now had an annoying habit. One of her many annoying habits, to just storm in when I was changing my clothes. The door would be closed and if it wasn't locked, she would just let herself in. My protest that I may be in a state of undress fell on deaf ears, as did any instance that she knocked before entrance like a civilized human being. The following incident happened when I was either 18 or 19. Aunt and her husband were over for a visit. I was in my room changing my clothes. My bedroom door had a small defect, it wouldn't lock properly. So anytime it was closed, my dad, stepmom, and stepbrother would either knock or ask if they could come in. Now entitled aunt, of course, she considered herself above such frivolous courtesies. She could come into rooms as she saw fit, and mere mortals would just have to live with it. Unfortunately for her, this mere mortal had had enough of her privacy being invaded. My top was off when I heard the door begin to creak. I yelled, I'm changing, wait outside. As expected, aunt didn't listen and was about to stick her head in when I swiftly reached for the door, pulled it back and a little, and slammed into the aunt's thick skull. Not enough to crack her skull, but enough to hurt. 
Aunt let out a howl instantly that brought a smile to my face. She went downstairs whining. I followed. She yelled at my dad about what I had done. My dad and uncle, aunt's husband, were drinking at the time and were uncharacteristically chilled. Dad just looked at her and then looked up at me and said something like, Yeah, don't do that. My uncle just bursts out laughing as if his wife getting her head banged was the funniest thing he had ever heard. Such dismissal of her grievances was too much to bear for my aunt. She demanded that they leave immediately. Uncle told her he was in no condition to drive. Besides, he and my dad were going to watch a cricket match, so leaving was out of the question. Aunt dialed my cousin's number, believing wholeheartedly that her son would come to her aid, but judging from her end of the conversation, cousin was out with his friends and wasn't going to drive all the way over to deal with the stupid ass. And why couldn't she just stop getting into unnecessary squabbles? Aunt had no options left, she just sat down on the couch while holding against her head the ice pack my stepmom had brought for her. Her anger was boiling over, but she was completely ignored by my happy dad and uncle. It was a lovely evening. Entitled Aunt tries to convince me to fit her standards of girliness by shaming me, basically. Okay, so this is about my mother's side of the family. There are two stories I can think of right now. P.S. I don't have an attitude issue, as suggested by the comments. I'm a nice person. I always talk nicely to everyone and respect my elders except the ones who don't deserve it. Context for the stories. Me and my family had moved to my maternal grandparents' house to help them in their old age. Now that the house has three floors, one was bought by someone, one was ours, and the ground floor was my grandparents, where my divorced aunt and my uncle lived. They were dependent as neither of them wanted to work, so we had to help them out. Now a few years ago, my grandfather died and my aunt would sit in the living room all day and watch TV. Now I had to hang out downstairs because of some issues I don't want to talk about. So I was just on my PC all day and sometimes talked to my friends or my BF. Even though we all lived here, we had basically no personal right over the floor we lived in. This part is important for one story. Okay, so the first thing happened with the lazy aunt. So I just hung out with her in the room all day long and I would mind my own business all the time, not talking to her. She was the one who started muttering shit for no reason. Now I'm a tomboy and it's very clear that I'm not girly from the way I dress and behave. That just triggered her so much. It was a normal day and we were sitting around and stuff. This crazy woman suddenly starts calling me stuff like unladylike, uncultured, sick in my mind, ill-mannered, etc. And I was like, lady, what the heck? Now here's how our conversation went after this. You know you shouldn't wear these clothes at all. You're fat and it makes you look very bad. You should lose weight and then you'll look presentable maybe. Now I know that wasn't true because I had been getting compliments all day long. Silence. You should be more like a girl. Cross your legs. Mm-hmm. You know, this thing you call yourself a tomboy is a disease. Get yourself fixed. Now I was angry. It's not a disease, you 18th century hag. It's who I am. No, listen to your elders. I am correct. You have a disease. Knowing this would go no anywhere. Yeah, okay. Sorry about the stroke. I mean, literally, who calls a personality trait a disease? You shouldn't talk to boys as well. They'll mistreat you. For some dumb reason, my mouth opens. Oh, but all I have are male friends. Looks at me with wide eyes and an angry stare. What? Oh no. Do you want to get mistreated by those guys? Keep yourself away from them or else I won't let you get out of the house. Who the F are you to do that? I'm family and family protects each other. Yeah, right. Quiet down and quit disturbing me. I'll tell your mom to break off your friendships with all your boyfriends. Doesn't mean if I'm with a guy, he's my boyfriend. Now shut up, because you have no right over my life and my social life. Yeah, I do, because your mom is crazy and doesn't know how to raise her daughters. Even if your sister is like you, always with boys, don't come to me when you get mistreated. Fools learn by their own experiences, you know. Shut up. You have no right to say all of this and no right to call my mom crazy. You are the crazy one. Shut up. Your parents haven't taught you to respect your elders. Your father killed my father, and now he's sending his daughter here to kill me with her disrespect. This is also my house, not yours. Ours. I'm here to see my grandmother. What you gonna do about it? Kick me out? You can't even move me an inch, and as for my dad, you can say another word about him. I will throw this chair at your head, so just shut up and leave my family alone. She didn't say anything after and started mumbling to herself. Also, she didn't bother me again for my ladylikeness, but still insulted my family. I can post those conversations too if I can remember them. 
And I have one more story about the other on, so you can check that out as well. And with that, you have officially made it to the end of today's video! Did you like it? Maybe check out some of our other stuff and even subscribe. As always, my name's Ryan, the official host of Ask Reddit Tells, and I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's video.